the name of Allah, most gracious and most merciful. God's timing is not always our timing. He may not work things out the way we planned, but He is working things out for better. Your graduation marks a significant milestone in your lives. This COVID-19 pandemic has really changed everything around the world. From our basic routinary way of living to celebration of big events has suddenly shifted to the normal. Today, our dear parents and our children who patiently waited, finally, it's over. The Montaka Central School proudly presents its 65th graduation, graduation ceremony, virtual format for the school year 2020-2021 with the theme Kalidad ng Edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. Strengthening Quality Education amid COVID-19 Pandemic. And now, let us witness the candidates for graduation for school year 2020-2021. This most awaited event has never been made possible. Without the support of the equally and highly esteemed individuals, to the Minister of Ministry of Basic, Higher and Technical Education, Sir Muhagir Eric Bad, from the school's division of Cotabato City, led by the school's division superintendent, Dr. Concepcion Ferrer Balawa Dal Haja, SESO 5, Assistant School's Division Superintendent, Dr. Edgar S. Sumapal Al Haj, CID Chief, Dr. Pancho G. Balawag, SGOD Chief, Sir Johnny G. Balawag, to the Education Program Supervisors of Carabato City Division, to the Public Schools District Supervisor, Madam Sarabia G. Talapas Al Haja, to our school head, Madam Socorro Sinsuat Cabaloza, Master Teachers of Pamontaka Central School, colleagues, members of the graduating class, proud parents, guardians, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant and joyous viewing to all. Power of prayer. When we pray, things happen would not otherwise happen. By prayer, all things are possible. Let us all be at peace and feel the presence of Almighty God. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'budu Wa Iyaka Nasta'in Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustakim Sirat Al-Ladhina An-Amta Alayhim غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا عسنة وفي الآكرة عسنة وكنا أذاب النار الحمد لله May we all put ourselves in the spirit of patriotism as we listen to the singing of the Philippine National Anthem, followed by the barn hymn, the vision hymn, played respectively. Ang Pampansang Awit ng Pilipinas Sa mga tatutok sa simula sa nalit ng pagbabaw, ay hindi na. 
Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah. 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 We praise and thanks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our almighty God, for giving us a very special moment today. My warmest greetings and congratulations to all our graduates and completers for basic education this year, school year 2020-2021. Today's special event is very significant and memorable in your life as graduates and completers, recognizing all your hard works as well as the growth and significant change that occurred in your life for the past years. I truly appreciate the efforts of all your teachers whose untiring commitment and dedications are poured out for the benefit of our learners. I also commend the parents and stakeholders for their endless support as partners in meeting the needs of our learners. All these accomplishments are valued and recognized as they contribute in the success of our school children. The Schools Division of Cotabato City has been committed to continuously provide a holistic quality and liberating education to ensure that you will be competent in the 21st century skills at your own level and able to compete globally in the future, inshallah. This year's theme, Kalidad ng Edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemia, is strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. It reminds you to be resilient amid all the challenges you encounter especially during this time of pandemic. These challenges have taught you to persevere in achieving your goals in life and learn to value other aspects of your life as well. I would like to quote the message of Coca-Cola's former CEO, Brian Dyson. He states that, Imagine life as a game in which you are juggling some five balls in the air. You name them. Work, family, health, friends and relatives, and spirit. And you're keeping all of this in the air. You will soon understand that work is a rubber ball if you drop it it will bounce back but the other four balls family health friends and relatives and spirit are made of glass if you drop one of these they will be irrevocably scuffed marked damaged broken or even shattered they will never be the same. You must understand that and strive for balance in your life. How? Don't undermine your worth by comparing yourself with others. It is because we are different that each of us is special. Don't set your goals by what other people deem important. Only you know what is best for you. Don't take for granted the things closest to your heart. Cling to them as you would your life, for without them, life is meaningless. Don't let your life slip through your fingers by living in the past or for the future. By living your life one day at a time, you live all the days of your life. Don't give up 
when you still have something to give. Nothing is really over until the moment you stop trying. Don't be afraid to admit that you are less than perfect. It is this fragile thread that binds us to each other. Don't be afraid to encounter risk. It is by taking chances that we have learned how to be brave. Don't shut love out of your life by saying it's impossible to find. The quickest way to receive love is to give it. The fastest way to lose love is to hold it too tightly. And the best way to keep love is to give it wings. Don't run through life so fast that you forget not only where you have been, but also where you are going. Don't forget, a person's greatest emotional need is to feel appreciated. Don't be afraid to learn. Knowledge is weightless. A treasure you can always carry easily. Don't use time or words carelessly. Neither can be retrieved. Life is not a race, but a journey to be savored each step of the way. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is mystery. And today is a gift. That's why we call it the present. You have just done your race in your basic education, but your journey has not stopped yet, for you will still be encountering a lot of challenges in life, especially in this time of pandemic. May this message give you an inspiration my dear graduates and completers, never be afraid of dreaming towards achieving your goals in life. But always remember to have the positive mindset and a good balance in life. Once again, Mabruk, congratulations. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide you all to the path of righteousness. Wassalam. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the specially merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, congratulations to the survivors of BATS 2021 computers and graduates. You are like the rays of light which shines brightly and victoriously with modesty as you try to use the attitude, knowledge, skills that you gain to overcome these tough and critical situations in the new normal education due to pandemic. Ang aking maligayang pagbati at pagpupugay para sa lahat ng nagsisipagtapos sa mga guru, mga principals, kapamilya, sa magiting ilang pamumuno para may sulma at makapagbigay ng di kalidad na edukasyon para sa batang bangsamoro sa Distrito 6, the best. Sa tema ng pagtatapos, kalidad na edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. We live in times of uncertainty, leaving us with more questions than answers regarding COVID-19 pandemic. Today, I hope all of us regain our confidence and strength to survive, you graduates of 2021 must maintain faith while embracing reason and truth, not speculations. Keep going, change your dreams. Sigeka D66. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, my courtesies to the School Division Superintendent, Dr. Concepcion Ferrer Balawag, CESO 5, our Assistant School Division Superintendent, Dr. Edgar S. Sumapal Alhads, the School Teaching Force, the Supportive Parents, and most importantly, the Graduating Class BATS 2020-2021. 
Good morning and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. This day is not about me, it's about you. It's not even about your graduation. It's about handling the ever-challenging states of your lives, made even more difficult by the pandemic that the world is facing. It might be disheartening and discouraging, but today you have just proven that no challenge will ever be bigger and stronger than the power of your dreams. So continue dreaming. Let the skills, values that your alma mater has instilled to you to be your guide in pursuing that dream. Thank you very much and congratulations. It is the province of knowledge to speak and it is privilege of wisdom to listen. May we all witness Arman David Carlo D. Kiduan with honors for his welcome address. Our most distinguished guest speaker, Ma'am Maria Cecilia C. Eramis. Our Energetic Schools Division Superintendent, Ma'am Conception F. Balawag Seso 5. Active Education Program Supervisor, the Godfather of District 6, Dr. Dido G. Balawag and Dr. Ismael S. Mabalagi. To our ever-supportive District Supervisor of District 6, Ma'am Sarapia G. Talabas Alhaja, to our resourceful school head, Ma'am Socorro S. Cabalosa, supportive barangay officials and PTA officers, diligent teachers, loving parents, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a fine day to all of us. Today, July 16, 2021, marks a significant event in our educational life. For we have completed the first step of our educational ladder on this very momentous occasion. The graduating class of this school year 2020-2021 are indeed very eager and very happy to receive the symbols of our accomplishments. The fruit of our sacrifices during our six years of stay under the roof of Alma Mater. This year's that we have stayed beneath her wings is something worthwhile to remember. Worthwhile in the sense that it had provided us basic knowledge and wisdom that serve as our weapon to combat life challenges, most especially in the next step of our educational endeavor. By this that we have gained, it is therefore fitting and proper that we pledge allegiance to her, hoping that through Allah's blessings and guidance, we will return to its folds, bringing the fame and glory that she deserves. Our beloved audience, your presence at this momentous occasion makes our heart filled with gladness. We are happy to see you come and witness our graduation day. A day we share with our treasured parents, relatives, and friends. A day to cherish throughout our lives. All of you today will serve us. Our inspiration because of you signify our great concern and love to us by gracing this special occasion. Surely we say we will never forget you. Thank you for your kind indulgence and may you continue to guide and pray for us. After seven years of sacrificing, we are about to witness the most awaited occasion in our life. An event that may encourage all of us to do our best this week. March on with the accomplishment of our hopes and dreams in life. On behalf of my fellow graduates, Batch 2021, I welcome you all on this memorable occasion. Thank you, Arman. Always keep heading towards a journey of positive change in yourself, your family, and your society. Make a difference in the circle where you find yourself in and look towards.
towards the future with big confidence and strong faith in your heart. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. And now, let us stick our ears as missed by not a Nasser, my partner, teacher one, grade five advisor, will introduce to us our honored guest speaker for today's event. Our guest speaker for today's event was born on September 13, 1973 at Tamontaka, Cotabato City. She finished her elementary level at Tamontaka Central School and her secondary level at Notre Dame of Cotabato for Girls Department. She took up her degree of Bachelor of Elementary Education at Notre Dame University. She has three children. Micaela Priscilla C. Iramis, and now an engineer, Margaret Elaine C. Iramis, and Monica Samantha C. Iramis. Her first experience in teaching was in Miriamville Learning Center, followed by Head Start College of Cotabato City and Tamontaka Central School up to present. Ladies and gentlemen, our guest speaker is none other than Maria Cecilia Choi Eramis. Isang maganda at mapayapang araw sa lahat. Ako'y nagagalak na inyong naanyayahan para maging panauhin sa malagang araw na ito sa inyong pagtatapos. Isang malaking karangalan na ako'y makapagbibigay ng mensahe sa inyong lahat. Ang tema sa taong ito, 2020-2021, ay kalidad na edukasyon, lalong pakatagil sa gitna ng pandemya. Ano nga ba ang edukasyon? Bakit mahalaga ang edukasyon? Bakit kailangan natin mag-aral? Lahat ng tanong na iyan ay naitanong ko na rin sa aking sarili. Ang edukasyon ay napakahalaga dahil para sa akin, ito ay isang kayamanan na kahit kailan ay di mananakaw ng kahit sino man. Sa kabila ng ating nararanasan ngayon, dahil sa dulot ng COVID-19, ay lagi pa rin nating isa-isip, isa puso at isa gawa ang ating mga munting pangarap. Tulad ninyo, ako'y nangarap din at dito sa paaralang sentral ng Tamuntaka, nabuo ang aking munting pangarap. Ang paaralang ito ay may malaking bahagi sa aking puso. Akin pang naaalala nang ako'y lumahog sa isang patimpalak. Ito ay patimpalak o paligsahang ang distrito. Takot na takot ako at kinakabahan. Bakit? Dahil takot akong magkamali at mapagtawanan. Ngunit dahil sa aking magiting, magaling at matyagang tagasanay, ay nakaya kong humarap at makipagtunggali sa aking mga kalaban. Masaya ang maging estudyante. Marami kang magiging kaibigan, Maraming aktibidades ang iyong masasalihan. Mayroong quiz on the air, seminar workshop, encampment, intramurals, at marami pang iba. Ang paglalaro ay bahagi ng isang pagkabata. Chinese garter, tumbang preso, patintero, tagu-taguan, lahat ng yan ay aking naranasan. Dito sa paaralang ito, nakuo at nahubog ang tiwala sa ating sarili. Di ko mararating ang aking kinalalagyan ngayon kung di ako nangarap, nagsikap at mag-aral ng mabuti. Ang kahirapan ay hindi hadlang o dahilan para di kayo o tayo makapag-aral, makapagtapos, at magkaroon ng magandang kinabukasan. Hanggat patuloy tayong nangangarap, 
may mga gurong gumagabay at mga magulang na laging sumusuporta at nagmamahal sa atin. Makakaya at mapagtatagumpayan natin ang lahat ng ito. Huwag natin kalilimutan na ang lahat ng mga pagsubok, kahirapan, problema, kamalian sa buhay ay may kapalit na kaginhawaan. Gawin natin itong inspirasyon. Harapin ang mga pagsubok na may katataga ng loob. Pagtibayin ang ating pananadig at pananampalataya sa puong lumikha. Pagmamahal sa pamilya ay pag-ibayuhin at pag-aalaga sa sarili ay panatilihin. Bagamat hindi nyo man naranasan ang aking mga napagdaanan at karanasan sa buhay dahil sa pandemyang ating kinakaharap sa ngayon, lagi nating isaisip na ang mga pagsubok lamang na ito ay may liwanag pa rin haharapin. Congratulations graduates and Mubara! Today, more than ever, you should be more mindful of your responsibilities towards your personal well-being, that of your family, of your community, and of your country, if only to keep up with the enormous challenges that we have to confront today and in the near future. At this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, let us now proceed to the presentation of the candidates for graduation batch 2021. And now, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we are about to witness the highlights of today's event, the presentation of the candidates for graduation. May we have on screen our school head, Madam Socorro Sinsuat Cabaloza, followed right away the acceptance and confirmation of our very own school's division superintendent, Dr. Concepcion Ferrer Balawag Al Haja Seso 5. Bismillah Rahman Rahim to our school division superintendent, Dr. Concepcion Ferrer Balawag Seso 5. Ma'am, by virtue of the power vested upon me by the Department of Education, MBTHE, BARM, as the school principal of the Muntaka Central School, I have the honor to present to you the 94 boys and 134 girls with a total of 228 candidates for graduation for school year 2020-2021. Furthermore, I certify that they have satisfactorily completed all the requirements prescribed for elementary schools by the Department of Education, Ministry of Basic Higher and Technical Education, BARM, under the Enhanced Basic Education Curriculum. They are now ready for your acceptance and confirmation. By virtue of the power vested in me as the school's division superintendent of the Division of Cotabato City, MBSCE Barn, and on the basis of the certification made by your principal that you have satisfactorily completed the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education and MBSCE under K-12 curriculum as modified in the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan through most essential learning competencies. I now accept and confirm you elementary graduates for school year 2020-2021. You are now entitled to receive your elementary diplomas. Congratulations and Mabruk! To our graduates, salute is a word that evokes gesture of respect for an achievement. This is the word I would want to give you as a way of saying, Congratulations! You are now graduates! At this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, here on the screen, the graduates batch 2021 for their certificates. For grade 6 Madarimut male, we have Abbas Muslimin J, Abbas Samir D, 
Alan Ambrudin M. Alan Gemaludin M. Alon Jr. D. Candado Jan Marion S. Gemal Rico A. Kiduan Arman David Carlo D. With honors. Makalapen Datu Razul D. With honors. Mama Abdul Kadir G. Mitimbang Datu Obama S. Rico Norman Dre D. Salik Aryun Gab D. Sapal Datu Alamir A. For female, we have Ali Lidi Fajir M. Ampatuan by Amira Sita D. With honors. Bantas Rahima A. With honors. Candado Fatima K. Datukali Ashwera Shendi H. Digandam Lina M. With honors. Imlan Rashida E. Gyaman Marhana E. Kalipa Suhaila Z. Makadatu Farida S. With honors. Makasasa Badria O. Mamalapat Munaysa A. With honors. Mamalapat Najarim M. Muslimin Alma D with honors. Rico Trisha Iris D with honors. Saban Julaini S with honors. Sandai Gihara E with honors. Sitswat Jasmine Joy Nuyu L with honors. And Uso Tsipirohaina M. For Grade 6, Di Guzman, May. Aaron Jeremy M. Awil Norhamin M. Baragir Sajid S. Kabanya Jan Ryan A. Dalik Dato J.R.E. Yokolano J.R.L. Ibrahim Rasul U. Tamid Saif D. Kasan Misyari C. Mandakawan Nasrula A. Muhammad Najib W. Omar Dato Muner M. Pasandalan Muhajirin K. Udasan Dato Naim K. Usman Hamsur K. Uto Shahid Gafar S. Ventura Alcidric M. Fimi Akon by Jerhani H. Adil by Jessa U. Atis Junaira U. Alag Asleya M. Bla Ronadel B. Jokolano Babylin I. Imam Munaisa T. Kairudin Baila A. Madsig Suraima A. Maliga Johaina U. Omar Farhana A. Omar Norhasra G. Palaman Alibai M. Saban Jasmine M. Sanguan Mariam C. Sinswat by Aleha P. And Undong Laika Mariam P. For Grade 
six mamalagya, male, we have Ahmad Muhammad K. Ampan Abdul Wajib P. Arab Abdul Rauf B. Kubilya Raver K. Dimaukum Afdal Tasnim B. Fernandez Joan Earl D. Kenidar Datu John A. Mama Abdul Samad J. Pagayaw Nashmiku F. Pangilan Amir O. Sandalon Jaber S. Untong Amir H. And Ura Dato Arnel O. For female, we have Abdullah Sandra S. Agar by Maleha B. Baliwa Nasriya A. Bla Alaysa S. Enoch Siti Rashela K. Felmin Shahana E. Josol Siti Ashleya C. Israt Alam by Malika R. Latif Norhafiza Janna P. Lawan by Milaf B. Lumanggal Arich B. Polido Charm Francesca E. Ponsalan Anika O. Sailila Sara K. Sandalon Noraini S. Turuganan by Ayesha B. And Upu City Armenia A. For the grade 6, Abang. Male, we have Abidin Norhamin G. Adam Norhamin H. Aranya Richard Robin P. Gimba Johari D. Kumbila Dato Ajahir M. Ibad Aris D. Kanakan Almalik A. Kanakan Dato Fahad B. Husin Abdullah M. Pangalaw Al Muhaymin A. Sangkai Amir F. Sinsuat Wini B. Talib Dato Prince B. For the female, we have Budin Salibay T. Kandado Baby Jihana G Dalanda Aisa P Datukan Biasia K Datukan Laiha M Daud Rahima W Ikandang Ana G Ezra Rahima A Kanakan Joan J Maging Princess Alaysha B. Malagyal Darwisa K. Malang Baby Jean Lu. Mla by Maleha D. Muhammad Nuraida K. Muhammad Siti Kaila M. Ontong Michelle A. Saliling Asmiya M Taha Muzaripa Z Taib Riana S and Wahab Shiraima V For grade 6 Adzal male we have 
Ang bulod to Kenley Khalid C. Ang bulod to Zainal S. Bangkong Ismail Moktal L. Ferenal Darwin P. Yusol Amir A. Loyola Alshedin S. Lupangan Jenor S. Mabandes Johaiber E. Nanding Datumorsid B. Pasawilan Datu JC A. Pua Abdulaziz Isaac W. Salim Amirol A. For female, we have Abdullah Bida R. Abu Bakar Haila M. Alon Johaini D. Alon Norain K. Balabaran by Afra G. Bangkong Shaira May O. Ibrahim Aminaiza S. Ibrahim Asmin B. Elian Norhaila M. Yapal Wahida K. Hajihil Shahada E. Katutukan Jasmaira A. Luminda Azma L. Makauyag Shakia A. Mamalangkas Laurelen M. Matabalaw Muhaini N. Muhammad Jumaika H. Mukhalol Rufaida I. Nanding Rasma L. Samama Amina K. And last but not the least, Sambilan Muhaira A. For grade 6 Penuela male, we have Akma Datoruf D. Ali Jashim G. Balnaha Andri Joshua A. Ismael Abdul Halim A. Fongonan JJ B. Gampong Rup A. Giamblang Mashod B. Laup Abdul Rahman G. Lekigan Avial Adrian T. Makalutang Alfarshad A. Puliteruti Hamsad D. Sinswat Datu Alfurkan K. Usman Abdul Jabbar M. For female, Abdullah Sandra M. Ali Baitilak G. Bernabe Alaika M. Bernabe Elaine S. Dimaampaw Di Nashrini S. Jokolano Baby Aileen I. Jokolano Siti Laila D. Dizon Marwa G. Lagilay Farhana A. Malang Sajida S. Mama Bailaga J. Manipel by Manot S. Maulana Mohani G. Sidik Johanna K. Selungan Haifa M. And Tomas Baisa B. Grade 6 Sinswa. Name Barcelona Abdul Wahid R. 
Debra Denard Yu Budin Abdul Jeremy T Kanoog Oliver John D Karidad Dato Ibrahim K Dima Ampaw Amirudin G Gabel Norudin D Maulana Junior Jamer U Maulana Muhammad B Muhammad Dato Jamiel M Muhammad Norman M Musa Aladin A We Jaime Marion M Fime Abdullah Johaira M Abu Bailin A Agar by Jory F Alim Norhanina K Ayuna Nicole O Bla Bynes K Kalipa Talin B Kamama Mobina Miel M Kanakan Shailadin M Kanapia Norbaya B Karim Johaira E Ketol Bailin B Kusa Norjana A Kutba Irene T Sarmiento Sara Jane G Talusog Jayana B Tawing Rasmiya M Tuansi Bailinda M Waya Rahima B and Yaakob Hanima M Sometimes it seems that our dreams crumble in our hands and that all we have tried so hard to attain our dreams will always stay out of reach. But the years of hard work and dedication have built and the fruit of labor is sweet. At this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, here on the screen are the awardees Batch 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, the awardees Batch 2021. With honors, Kiduan Arman David Carlo D. Makalapen Dato Razul D. Ampatuan by Amira Sita D. Bantas Rahima A. Digandang Lina M. Makadato Farida S. Mamalapat Munaisa A. Mamalangkas Laureline M. Muslimin Alma D. Rico Trisha Irish. Saban Julaini S. Sandai Gihara E and Sinswat Jasmine Joy M. To the awardees, congratulations! One of the most courageous things you can do is to identify yourself, know who you are, what you believe in, and where you want to go. At this juncture, ladies and gentlemen, may we all witness Amira Sita D. Ampatuan with honors as she delivers her address of thanks. Education, the foundation of all knowledge, the stepping stone towards greater and excellent achievements, the key towards success. To our school's division superintendent, Mom Conception Fair Balawang Season 5, to our supporting and motherly public school's district supervisor of District 6, Ma'am Sarapia G. Talapas and Haja, to our energetic and ever initiative school administrator, Ma'am Socorro S. Cabaloza, to our well-versed, ever-understanding teachers, our all-out support and loving parents, whose patience and perseverance in holding our total be equal shed light to lead us the way for our search for education. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Indeed, education is the key to success, a key that opens greater and brighter opportunities to strive hard. 
overcome hardships and almost sacrifice everything just to be a part of this momentous event of our lives. Today marks the end and the beginning of our continuous journey in facing life's tasting and challenges. Yes, the last part of the chapter of this past and challenging ladders of what we call education and the beginning of the next stuff. More challenging and more exciting moments to experience. Today serves as the gateway of all opportunity to tell the people that we've made it, we've overcome it. Despite of the pandemic that we are facing now, the obstacles that somewhere along the way hinders us to become what we are now. An opportunity to say thank you to the people whom one way or another contributed to our success. People who become an inspiration for us to move on and to never give up. To my teachers and mentors, thank you for the gift of knowledge. Surely, you are a big part of what we are now and who will be tomorrow. I pray that Allah will continuously guide and bless you with a good health to do your noble mission. That is education, the youth of today for better tomorrow. To our beloved parents, who always there for us, to our Ina and Ama, who provide everything we need, sacrifices everything in order that the welfare of their children will be adjusted and suffice with. Thank you very much. You've become the backbone of your success. Most especially to our Almighty Allah, who endowed every talent that we possessed. We should not become what we are now if it's not because of Him. To my fellow graduates, graduation will commence a more challenging world. This is not yet the end, but just the beginning. Just remember what Newton Baker said that is, the man who graduated today and stopped learning tomorrow is uneducated. That day after let us not stop here instead we must stand and proceed to a higher education and make our loved ones more proud of us as we go all out from the threshold of our alma mater whatever we may become and wherever we may be we should always uphold what the montaka stranger school has inculcated in us for whatever and whoever we may be would tell us to what kind of individuals does our school producing. Finally, on end, in behalf of my classmates, I would like to express our profound gratitude to our beloved proud parents who spent day and night of working hard. Thank you and congratulations to all of us. Thank you. 